Track 90. The history of computers around 2700 BCE to today. The abacus. People still use abacuses today in many parts of the world, especially to teach maths to children. Of course, they are very different from modern computers, but the idea is the same. To answer difficult maths questions much more quickly than a human can. 205 BCE, the Antikythera mechanism. In 1900, a group of people diving near the Greek island of Antikythera found this machine on the sea floor. For many years, no one understood what it was or how it worked. Scientists now say it was used to find out the positions of the sun, moon, and stars. Many people call it the world's earliest computer. 1791 to 1871 and 1815 to 1852, Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace. The modern computer was Charles Babbage's idea. The machine he wanted to build, called a difference engine, was special because it had all the parts that a modern computer has. It could save information, and was also a kind of printer. Ada Lovelace was the first computer programmer. She had the idea for software, a way of telling a computer to do different things. 1940s, Alan Turing. Alan Turing wasn't well known when he was alive, but he's now one of the most famous scientists of the 20th century. His ideas on computer science changed the world. He worked on the first digital computer. It was called Colossus, weighed 30 tons, and was as big as a large living room. From the 1950s, modern computers. From the 1950s, computers got smaller, faster, and cheaper. Today, the smallest mobile phones have more memory than the biggest early computers. And computers are getting better all the time. However, they are not perfect. One of the worst problems is computer viruses. You can lose a lot of information when one gets on your machine. Be careful about what you download from the internet. Track 91. You will hear Ella asking her friend Andy about his new computer. Nice new laptop, Andy. When did you get it? Yesterday. My old one broke a month ago, and last week, Dad agreed to buy me this. Where did he get it? I need a new computer too. He asked a friend for advice and then bought it online. It was cheaper than buying it in a shop. Really? How much was it? £250. There were cheaper ones, starting at £150. The most expensive ones were over £2,000. Wow, that's a lot. And has it got everything you need? Almost. I can print on the printer downstairs, and I don't need a mouse, but I'd like to get a better camera for it. Good idea. So, what do you use the computer for? Most things. I can't play my computer games on it, though. It hasn't got enough memory. But I do my homework on it and chat to my friends on the internet. So you're happy with it? Very. It's got a nice big screen and the keyboard is really comfortable to use. But the speakers are the best thing about it. My music sounds great on them. Oh, brilliant! Track 91. You will hear Ella asking her friend Andy. About his new computer. Nice new laptop, Andy. When did you get it? Yesterday. My old one broke a month ago, and last week, Dad agreed to buy me this.
Where did he get it? I need a new computer too. He asked a friend for advice and then bought it online. It was cheaper than buying it in a shop. Really? How much was it? Two hundred and fifty pounds. There were cheaper ones starting at a hundred and fifty pounds. The most expensive ones were over two thousand pounds. Wow, that's a lot. And has it got everything you need? Almost. I can print on the printer downstairs, and I don't need a mouse. But I'd like to get a better camera for it. Good idea. So, what do you use the computer for? Most things. I can't play my computer games on it though. It hasn't got enough memory. But I do my homework on it and chat to my friends on the internet. So you're happy with it? Very. It's got a nice big screen, and the keyboard is really comfortable to use. But the speakers are the best thing about it. My music sounds great on them. Oh, brilliant!